Hello and welcome, thank you for joining me. My name is Smickles and let's play some more Dwarf Fortress at Wallowin. Last time we did just the very basics after our preparation for the Embark. And today I think we ought to go for some farming and some basic quartering for the guys, something like a dormitory. After that, we ought to be set up with just the very start of industry, some carpentry, some masonry, probably. So let's jump right into it here. They're still going to be carrying that stuff around. So a lot of what we're going to do here is probably just planning out. I want to get out of the dirt layer here. So we're going to go, we're going to have our guy dig down. Going to designate some up downstairs here. Now I kind of like this pattern where we do a 3x3 three three and we head down say about that far, right? And then we carve, we tell them not to actually carve out the stairs in the middle here. With X designation there we go so they're gonna dig that down the farms however will have to be in the soil layer here I'm pretty sure we can build on the loam or the sand which gives us a nice option there so we're gonna give a, a higher priority although you notice it's a lower number over there uh, a higher priority dig designation somewhere up here eh, let's call it let's call it there this will be another very utilitarian styled room just square we're gonna put four farm plots down in it Let's see if they actually got down into any rock. Oh, the next layer down, really? Yeah. Look at that. These, these are rocks and, um, whoa, two, two different kinds of rocks. I wonder if that means there's like, the biome split is right there. Well, anyway. Oh, you know what I never did? You can tell them to, uh, to take apart the wagon and you get a, another extra couple of bits of wood. So we'll go ahead and have done that. Now I don't think I actually have anyone, uh, I gave that order to, to gather those plants, but I don't think anyone actually, you know, has the labor assigned to them. And apparently, look at this, no one is, has gone to do, to destroy the wagon there. So what are they looking for? They're looking for carpentry. Nobody has carpentry. Well, let's pick out one of these guys to be a carpenter. And we will drop in woodworking, carpentry. There you go. So that guy ought to run off and start doing it, although he hasn't quite yet. There he goes. That's probably him there. Yep. Go so long. Now, Zulban. Zulban, you are going to do a bit of our little plant gathering. Get us some berries and things to make some kind of farm wine out of. I think it's in here. Yes, plant gathering. There we go. Now we ought to see him run off, and there he goes, gathering some plants. Okay. Looks like they've dug out this area, so we are going to... B... W... No, it's BP, isn't it? Farm plot, and then use... U and K to make it a bigger. I tend to like these 5x5 plots. Now I'm going to put 
both of them mashed up over there. Another P and then UK to, to bring it out. We'll have the path down the middle, but instead of uh, kind of making an X pattern there, we're going to leave the vertical open slot in this room all along that side because I'm going to put uh, a seed stockpile there and that way the people bringing seeds don't have to walk as far I mean I don't think short distances like that really end up mattering all that much in the end but I kind of like the idea that the guy doesn't have to walk as far just to drop off his seeds it would annoy me now we uh we're gonna have to designate farm I wanna get a couple of guys on farming and I think Solon, we we just told him to uh, No, we got him on the woodworking. Okay. So I'll have Thomas here. Farm fields. I kind of want to get two guys on the field farming. Which actually, how about we tell our guy? Zulban, who we had gathering plants, he'll be a field farmer as well. Now, we didn't have to go down any further to actually get down into this rock. But because, you know, the line probably isn't literally, you know, all on this, it probably is a little more diverse down here. There's probably a little bit of sand and whatnot. So we'll hedge our bets and go down a few levels to uh, here, maybe here. Ooh, different kind of rock there. Schist. And then up here we still had that day site. Docite. I don't know how to say these things. There's quite a few types of rocks in this game. All mirrored off of real, real actual stone in the, you know, in reality, right? So, let's... Let's go down to the schist. We'll get another hotkey going. This will be my F3 for now. Zoom here. So from here, we're gonna actually start some of our some of our actual place. We're gonna need a meeting room and a dormitory, basically. still on the priority two designation. Let's actually change that back to four. Sometimes it resets, sometimes it doesn't. So I thought it'd be like a small dormitory. Oh, let's actually change it here. Three, six, nine. That'll be, we'll say nine beds there. And we could have our meeting place mirrored up once much the same way, right? And then I go and do that. We can go one further that way. And we already got the 
farm going up top. Beyond that, we're actually going to need to lay down the carpentry somewhere. Masonry and the carpentry, I want to actually do larger rooms. So, let's try it like this. Is this going to look alright? I hope so. So that way we'll be able to place down the actual, say, carpentry building and then put a little bit of wood stockpile around it. And we'll do pretty much the same thing here. Is it that far? We'll find out. go far enough did I but that does look all right on that we need to basically just wait for these guys to get down there and dig that out and for now I'm gonna take away the one hotkey out there on the original and move it to here and hopefully oh no I need to move it down one I think because I want that to have our center cursor right where the hotkey is that way when I'm doing all of my kind of stockpile settings. I'll be able to zoom right there. I suppose I can demonstrate it with the seed stockpile here that I haven't set up. And it looks like they've built the farm plots out. So P for pile, F for food, because seeds are in food. Then we need to Q over to settings and change it to where we block all and enable only seeds or permit seeds. And then one final thing of the settings, take from our general stockpile. Now we need to get the farmers growing things. We should have some plump helmets which we'll set up on this farm plot. So all seasons, so the seasons are A, B, C, and D, spring A, B, summer, C, autumn, and D, winter. We can grow plump helmets all year long. Now they're just a, a mushroom that you can, you can eat it, you can brew it into alcohol, apparently. Dimple cups are kind of the same. Another mushroom, but I think they uh, they do produce a different sort of alcohol. So we want to get some of them going to get some variety. And then over here, we have sweet pods, I think. Sweet pods, I believe, actually, you can't, well, maybe you can eat them directly or brew them directly, but I think you can also make sugar out of them if you, uh, if you grind them up. So we're going to do 
sweet pods over here. Now, sweet pods you can't grow year round. And then up here, the uh, pigtails. This pigtails make this, I'm pretty sure it's another fungus that makes a more thread like sort of flesh on it so you can weave it into fabric and whatnot. Now they're not going to be growing these right away because we can only grow them in summer and autumn. So we should see our farmers run over there and also the people haul. Yeah look they're hauling all the seeds over into the seed stockpile and then the farmers get on their task. So, down here, let's call that top one our meeting hall. Huh? The way we do that for now, the way you do it normally is you build a table and designate it as a meeting hall, but for now what we're going to do is the same trick we did before where we just call it a meeting area. And we'll go back up to this one. We don't need them to actually just hang out in the hallway here anymore. So we'll remove that area entirely. Now one thing I didn't realize about the the pig initially is pigs operate much the same way that the chickens do where they don't need to be out in the grass and graze they're happy to just you know wallow around in the mud but I think as we might see here our wagon was pulled by a couple of horses now the horses are these are these H's here? They're, no, the, I think, I thought they were these H's. Yeah, stray horse, there we go. <laughs> and they've been hanging out in the hallway. Eventually they're gonna starve to death and die if we, if we leave it like that. So what we need to do is make a pasture. It's done, you know, same way we do the meeting area. And then a sign, he says they're both, male horses so we're not gonna get some sort of you know horse ranch going unless another unless a, a female horse shows up I'm gonna give them each their own uh, each their own pasture that way they don't compete with each other for for food or anything sometimes animals can get uppity and they fight each other We'll avoid that. There they go, taking the horses out. And those horses should be happy out there. Oh look, we got a guy sleeping solemn. He's sleeping there in the hall because we don't have our dorm set up for him yet. That is it. That's actually a really small meeting area, but it is just for for this first one here. I really want them to finish mining out all of that stuff. We're nearly there. It looks like they're getting pretty good at producing, you know, schist boulders out of the out of the rock. Are they? Oh, both of our mining guys are sleeping there. So it's a little bit of a waiting game here. But we want to kind of kind of be aware of the things going on so that we can start the next tasks pretty quickly. 
Now we could build these things just out in the open up top, which is what a lot of people do to save save time, because sometimes you can get attacked, you know, roughly quickly, and sometimes things like keys can come and steal stuff from you. So that one's open. We're gonna B W C for Carpenter's Workshop. We'll make it out of schist boulders because they're right there. I'm also gonna actually um, designate a garbage dump. We'll say, let's say, right there for now. Because I want to do this D, D, B, D, dump items. This will get them to move these boulders out of the way. And that's just a temporary spot for them. We can reclaim them later. We should have a guy on carpentry. Only one dude didn't do it anymore. trucking the things around for now. Oh, it looks like it's already built, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So before we get um, before we get kind of the whole management system up and running, we'll just do this manually. I want to build nine beds. I also want to bring... Did I not dump that? No, I did. Okay. I also want to bring a wood stockpile into existence over here. And set its settings to where it takes from up here. So that way when they chop down all the trees, they'll bring them over to that stockpile and then they'll bring them down here as needed to fill this stockpile. I feel like I am going to want a, a furniture storehouse sort of area next to the carpenter here. Because he's going to He's definitely going to have, I mean, he's going to have beds. Most of the other stuff we're going to make out of stone. Most people are preoccupied moving the wood around currently. It's not the absolute shortest route. Now, we'll do a DBC to reclaim that stone there and start bi you know building beds bb looks like we have about 4 of them and it hasn't made all the rest of them yet it just started raining okay Now we do have this first one up on this wall, so we'll designate it to be a dormitory. That way people ought to come and sleep in there. We'll see if I can fill out the beds. Oh, I need dude needs to make more beds. He's got a couple going here. Just make it one. It takes him a little while, doesn't it? Just making another. We're 
right, well, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. Thank you for watching, of course. If you have any feedback and you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment or a little thumbs up just to say, hey, you made it. And I will see you next time.